Hi Libra, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your WTF reading for mid-October. Um, no announcements to make. Uh, oh yes, there is. Sorry, there's one. Uh, just one announcement and that is next time's reading, the end of um, October. Uh, we'll be doing the WTF reading and then following on from that reading. And I will try and timestamp them. Um, you will get a uh, Halloween bonus. I do normally do separate Halloween readings, but um, I just thought I'd tail them on to the end. Oh, Libra, number eight, Crown Games. Right use of power. Now, lovelies, I have to say, that card slightly bent as it came out. And I kind of got the sense that you're channeling your powers, your energy um for the right use at the moment so you may feel that you are going along the right lines yes you are um, because you are channeling that energy in exactly to where it needs to be and that's the right use of power the number eights as you know i believe are about communication it's about opening things up it's about re-examining things um and now we're kind of like we're not quite out of the um, shadow of um, mercury but we're getting there really quickly now thank goodness um yeah i'm kind of getting that as mercury has gone direct so have you channeling in, funneling in that energy to where it needs to be that's really nice libra so let's see what started your what the fuck for mid-october two major arcanas there's going to be a shift around you my darlings there's going to be a shift there's going to be a change something is happening face your fears and taking your power back oh manifestation and wish fulfillment might maybe fuck What you can do about this situation. That's what's out of your hands. Reconnecting to your true self. darling darlings i should say is your outcome so libra what started your what the fuck for this mid-october you've got the world tree the roots run deep very deep it's unshakable even the worst storm could not topple this tree at the moment your Branches splay out overnight and day and all of the seasons saying and telling me that you are in tune with nature completely. But the most relevant thing I think for you at the moment is the asp at the bottom, which would indicate that you have either shed or are shedding old skin, getting rid of old ways of being. And that's allowing your inner magic to come forth um at, well come to fruition to be honest with the sith now this sith she is either described as a fairy or a witch depending on the folklore she draws energy down from the moon the goddess the universe 
and look at this beautiful magical kitchen she's got candles for for intention she's got rosemary for remembrance she's got lavender for protection she's got the athami where she's drawing energy down she's got the book of knowledge and here she is intuitively um adding to that pot and asking the fey folk to give us some assistance i'm kind of getting that this shedding of old skin this understanding that you are really one with nature has shifted you into such a powerful position and that's why you've got crown grain gains and the right use of power is coming in because where you've channeled that power you have opened yourself up to understand one you're unshakable and two um this immense power this magical power now whether you achieve that through meditation whether you achieve that through physically having rituals prayer whatever it is that means to you you will feel that power it is going to be immense two major arcanas right off the bat um absolutely amazing i'm looking at the rest of the cards and i'm thinking oh there is going to be huge changes around you especially around how you feel you have got facing your fears and taking your power back now this goes against the grain with every libra and air sign that i know um taking a leap of faith it takes a lot for us to do that normally we want to have a look at the situation delve in deep ask questions ask more questions and then we want to ask more questions and we 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 appear to procrastinate but what we're doing is gathering evidence so that leap of faith is pretty much um a done deal uh, but they're saying face that fear face that fear and just take that leap without that thinking about it do not think about it go and enjoy yourself go and have that dance with other people and take that leap of faith because it's really important for you to understand that magic is not predictable it isn't it the results is unpredictable and you may be asking for one thing and another thing will come to you so just understand that the leap of faith needs to be done without any investigations and procrastinations going on so my darlings your manifestation your wish fulfillment and why it may be fucked you've got the page of wands you are definitely manifesting there to be a shift of blockages out of the way and one of the blockages is actually your good self you're standing in your own way you're being too highly protective of what it is that you see are your projects your plans maybe even your people um there may be something rearing itself from the past that is telling you come on th this is not a good deal at the moment this is this isn't you putting burdens down this is you gathering yet more freaking burdens um and it's almost like you know you've got all those magic wands but you can't pick them up and wave them like that so the magical blocks being moved out of the way is your good self you are standing in your own way and in comes in your manifestation you are looking for a partnership now whether that's a business partnership or a loving caring partnership only you can tell but there is a partnership that you are looking for with a king and you want this king to be emotionally charged you want this king to be in touch with their feelings and all the rest of it when you get the king of chalices you will only get that kind of vibe from the king of chalices if he is high vibrational energy if you get a low vibrational energy king of chalices which is water sign um cancer pisces scorpio uh, male or female we're not going to distinct between sexes here but if you get low vibrational energy, they'll sit at a table with you. They'll tell you the nice things that you want to hear. But they'll be fucked if they're going to tell you how they feel. And I struggle with the King of Chalices. I really do. Because very often when we're calling in a partnership, we forget to call in. The, you know, we, we all want somebody who's in tune with their feelings. But we forget to call in the other aspects of the person's personality and it's all very well sitting at a table eating and drinking with people but what substance does that actually give 
that king. Um, I would much prefer to see one of the other kings on the table. Um, so yes, yeah, so be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for. Um, if you want these blockages to move magically out of the way, um, know that you've got to do this, this work on yourself to understand that you do stand in your way by not taking this leap of faith, by making it too complicated. And that is, that's the whole point. You're making this complicated and you're adding to already given burdens. Uh, that don't need to be there. But this part, the calling in of a partnership, whether it be business or whether it be love, be careful what you wish for. Be careful. That's all I'm going to say. Your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. You seem to be galloping towards what it is that you need to know. Galloping towards the answer. Galloping towards um, having something revealed to you that maybe had eluded you previously. And this is messages coming in thick, fast and furious. And you've got the athame up in there and you're galloping towards these messages, this information... And you're ready to cut out what no longer serves you. Absolutely ready. But you're not taking notice of the actual message and what's behind that message. So the movement and the journey, where the fuck you need to be, slow down. You do, you do not need to rush in and make rash decisions about anything, especially when it comes to your headspace. Because you know as well as I do, if you make rash decisions, and I'm not talking about this bit, I'm talking this leap of faith is required and I'm getting that that's more connected with what it is that you're asking for. But this, this cutting out of things, you may miss a really good connection if you're too harsh and too rash to cut things out. You need to slow it down just a tad. Just because we're telling you take a leap of faith doesn't mean that you've you've got to hurry into it. We're just saying instead of making it a three-month project, make it a three-week project. It's still long enough for you to pick up the information that you need, but you're not cutting out things that, that kind of like would serve you if you gave them the chance. Wow. What can you do about this? Understand you have achieved the craftsman, the master craftsman status. There you are beavering away at yet another pentacle that you can add on the wall. Yes, it's making you money. Yes, it's, it's kind of like making family life a little bit easier. And especially in the, in the light of um, what we're going through at the moment globally. Uh, but you've left the door open and there's some bugliers just outside that door which would indicate that you are open up to opportunities that may arise for you in your line of work. And in comes the wild hunt. You've shone a light into that hunt for a truth or an untruth. It has been shown to you. And now the decision has to be made. I'm kind of getting that this has already happened. And what they're saying is, come on, you need to move on from this. Either do a rebuild, either recap what it is that you're doing, or just fuck off and let it go. Chicken's got the right idea. It's running like hell. Uh, yeah, just or let it go. Whatever it is that you've unveiled for yourself, they're saying, come on, it is now time. This is what you can do about the situation. Use this opportunity to shift away from the old energy, the old you, where you've shed the old skin. There's one last push there that needs for you to say that what you're doing is great, but the opportunities, the door is open, but you need this shift. You need this shift to move away from what you have known to be the truth and may not be the truth, or vice versa. So, 
So what is out of your hands and in comes the harvest. You've sown seeds over many, many years. And finally, there is enough to share out with other people. Um, this is abundance in its wildest forms. Um, and the reason it is out of reach to you, the universe is working with you on this. And I'm going to say there's a massive shift here. And it's not that far away, but they're just saying, come on, we're working on this together, but you need to heed these other bits. So, you know, taking that leap of faith, but taking, slowing down, but not coming to a full stop would be great. Making that decision for that last push here will surge in your harvest. And that harvest can be about anything, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, sensual. It could be to do with moving blocks out of the way. It could be the calling in of this person or persons that you have been calling in towards you. But mainly it's about you knowing when to take that leap of faith and have the faith that it's the right thing for you. And yet another major arcana comes in, reconnecting with your true self. This is the wheel of the year. This is a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. And having the faith that you can tread that wheel and not have to spin it out of control. Luck is on your side, Libra. 100% is luck on your side mid-October. Your outcomes, my lovelies, the Knight of Pentacles, you can see where you're heading. And look, I said slow down, didn't I? And you slowed down nicely. You have made the right investments. You are heading towards this new way of life, this new career, this new money, this new home life or a combination of those things. But you're quite happy that you can see it just up ahead and that you are moving absolutely in the right direction for a collaboration or the coming together of a partnership. Now, that's up to you what you decide that is going to be. But for me, this is surprising information coming from sources that you wouldn't expect them to. So it may be somebody a lot younger than you comes up with a solution or the outcome or somebody much older than yourself who's got these lovely little quirky ditties that all of a sudden they make fucking sense and you're wondering even how. Um, yeah. So just know you're moving towards that collaboration and then you've got the Lord of Shadows, darling. You are about to emerge like a butterfly, stepping back out into the sunshine. That mist in, in the distance, that is going to be lifting for you and you are going to be able to rejoin life as you really want it to be. So what is hidden from you at the bottom of the deck? You've got the Earth Mother. Now, this could indicate that there is a Virgo or if you are a Libra born close to Virgo, um, the Earth Mother comes into play for creation reasons. Now, yes, there could be um, births around you. There could be young children around you. But she's coming in saying, look, the cornucopia is full. I am birthing something. I'm birthing or creating um, a project, a plan, there is something that is very earthy for you that is coming in that she can say that you are kind of holding off from seeing, I'm guessing. Um, but she is saying, come on, it is now time to birth this idea. It's now time to create um, the atmosphere and the place you want to be completely. I mean, that's beautiful. Now, let me just count this up because I'm amazed with the major arcanas that have come out. You have got one, two, three, four, five, six major arcanas, seven with this one. Donald, this is a huge shift mid-October, huge shift, without a doubt, huge shift. Now, that can be around your business. It could be around your love life. It could be a combination of the two. But please be careful what you wish for if you are calling in a love partnership because you just might get a low vibrational energy instead 
of a high vibrational energy. Just be a little bit more wary about this part than you are this part. It's simple as that. So let's ask the angels and the ancestors for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance. For Libra, please. Mid-October. Anything else for Libra, please? No. Okay. Hermit, retreat and recharge. Guardian angel, you are not alone. Absolutely remember that, lovelies. Really remember that. That it, even if you don't believe in angels, there is always a guide or a guardian that is beside you, a gatekeeper, whatever you want to call it. There is always somebody walking beside you on this planet. The guardian, a fire guardian, ignite your passions. Absolutely. Absolutely. Libra, I hope this was of some help to you. Um, wherever you are, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.